Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. I love espresso and coffee beverages made from Starbucks, Caribou Coffee, and the Coffee Bean Coffee Houses. And although I love my Keurig, there's nothing like a fresh cup of strong espresso to get your morning started. Now, I was considering purchasing an espresso machine, and then I was contacted by Mino's Living to try and review their Mino's Mocha Pot. As you see, this is a really cute pot here. It is 100% stainless steel, and it has a beautiful design. Now, what I love about this pot is that it looks very elegant. It will be something that I could put on a tea set and just have a uh, serving for two. Now, Menio sent me a pot and it serves three. As you see, it has sort of like a percolating feature on the inside and it is very simple to use. Let me show you. Now to use your pot, you just simply unscrew the bottom portion of your um, pot and that is where your water reservoir is. And this is where you will pour the water in to the stop line. Now you will place inside, it's like your percolator attachment. This is where the water is going to come be um, sifted into the coffee and then it will be brewed up into the pot. So you see it has a percolating attachment here and this is where you're gonna place your coffee. Now I have some Kahlua Espresso. I've used this in my curette but I am so excited to be able to actually drink this beverage as it was intended to um, be enjoyed. So I put two tablespoons and uh, like a quarter in there and then we have the attachment here that kind of pounds it down to make it flat and then you screw back on your bottom reservoir. Now the great thing about this pot is that you can use it on all types of cook surfaces, um, your um, ceramic surfaces, your gas as well as your electric gas tops. Okay, so once our coffee is percolated, it's going to come up into the top part of our mocha pot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start making our caramel macchiato. So this is my coffee press here. I've had it for about two years and we're going to use this because I don't have a frother. But if you have a coffee press, you can use this to froth your milk. I have several types of um, coffee cups, some for... Um, espresso, some for different types of coffee, and I even have a cappuccino shot coffee cup there in the front. Now I purchased all of my um, cups on different outings at either my Salvation Army or my Goodwill. These were awesome deals and they're really nice to have. So I'm getting my milk. Make sure your milk is very cold right out of the refrigerator. And I probably put about a cup of milk in here. And what I'm going to do is take the top and you just go up and down. The more air you get into the milk in your um, in this contraption, the more froth that your milk is going to create. And you'll see it will begin to look very creamy. Now, coffee is percolating. You see here, it is steaming hot and it smells so good. So this is what the frost milk will look like. It all, it looks kind of creamy. And that's how you know it is ready. So what we're going to do is you're going to get another container because you need to put this into the microwave. It needs to be hot. Put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Depending on your microwave, you might have to do two rounds of 30 second increments. So I have my Ghirardelli's Caramel 
um, syrup as well as some vanilla syrup from the Dollar Tree. Now, I love that, that Dollar Tree syrup. It is very good. And this Ghirardelli's caramel is delicious also. So you just put some at the bottom of your glass. And then I put about a shot of the vanilla syrup in my glass. And then using our mocha pot, we're pouring in our hot espresso coffee that is Kahlua brand. And lastly, we will add the froth milk. And just to decorate it just like they do at those fancy coffee houses, I'm going to add a swirling of my caramel. Guys, this beverage is delicious. You are going to love it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I tell you one thing, this beverage here is better than anything that you can get at any coffee house and it is less expensive. I would like to thank Menios for sending me their mocha pot. I am loving it. And if you are interested in this item, I will leave all the information in the description box below. So guys, you know what I always say, the next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. Enjoy. Until next time, friends. Bye-bye.